Namaskar, Mr. Please, please. So, uh, okay, okay. I don't tell me, huh? <laughs> you need to tell the world. Uh, Samantha couldn't come on time because uh, as she was coming, somebody informed her, I'm wearing an yellow kurta, so she had to go back, change and come. Good evening, Sadhguru. It is absolutely an honor. Her volume up, please. Uh, it's yeah. absolutely an honor to be in your presence. I don't usually carry cue cards, but you know, when you talk, you have the tendency to make people freeze and I might forget my name, so better safe than sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Welcome back to Hyderabad. Thank you. The 94th day of your motorbike tour to save soil, 562 events, 26,000 kilometers. I'm just tired saying it. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired, Sadhguru? Uh, see, uh, people continuously asking me almost everywhere, looking at the schedule and the distances we are making. Uh, like what is that, 500? 500, 562, 562, 562 events? 562 events <laughs> means on an average eight to nine events per day is what's been happening along the way apart from the riding. So, uh, <laughs> so continuously, almost in every nation, this is a question, how do you manage this? I must tell you, I was uh, riding towards Bucharest and uh, I was to reach there at seven o'clock and seven o'clock there was a television interview. But uh, weather got very bad and the roads, road can... What is that? Can't hear? What? Uh, you're blocking their view, I... You can see there. Uh, that's okay, please. Now they can't change that, please. Hmm? You look at the screen. Uh, you always seen Samantha only on the screen, so what does it matter? <laughs> it's not me they're here for, Sadhguru. Huh? <laughs> it's not me they're here for. <laughs> so, uh, so I was to go there at seven o'clock in the evening. But uh, the, the ride became nine and a half hours instead of six hours as it was planned. So I reached there around 11.15 and uh, they were still waiting, the television crew. So I walked straight into the event and uh, well an hour and a half when we fish finished it was nearly one o'clock in the morning and then I was talking to them. So this anchor said, at this age, how do you ride for nine hours and come and do an interview and you're still fine? He repeated the word, this age, three times and I didn't like it <laughs> I, I'm warning you so that you don't use that <laughs> I make note <laughs> So I told him, I told him, see I lived my life so intensely, I never had the time to get old <laughs> You need, you need lot of time to get old, where is the time to get old? <laughs> Can you please give me the secret as well? I will. I would like to stay this way for some time. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will reveal the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so I see your amazing bike and some would say a bike tour, an unusual way to create awareness. Why a bike tour, Sadhguru? Why a motorcycle? Well, see, uh, the thing is, um, last two and a half years particularly, I've been talking to various agricultural ministries, scientists, top scientists in the world, soil scientists I mean, and bureaucrats and variety of people who hold responsible positions in the world. And I discovered that everybody knows the problem. 
everybody generally knows the direction of the solution, then wondering why is it not happening? Everybody knows the problem, everybody knows the solution. Then I realize they are waiting for an idiot to bell the cat, so here I am. So if I fly around and do it, it won't have that. So I have to walk, if I walk I may die, most probably yes. Or in my cycle, definitely it'll kill me. So motorcycle could kill. There were many dangerous moments. Uh, it could, when you're going at this pace, when I say this pace, like every day, you know, we're well above the speed limits and trying to get to the place because events and events are happening on the way. They're stopping us on the roads and there are events. So I don't hold, uh, I'm not a minister, I'm not, I don't hold any position of power in the world, I don't have any, uh, you know, anything to command because I don't have an army. All I have is I have people's love and goodwill, so I thought, uh, so that is the only asset I have, so that's the only thing I can play with. I've been talking about this for thirty years. And whenever I speak about it, people say, this is great, this is fantastic, and then they will sleep on it. So, now we wanted to awaken something, I knew the simple way for me to do it is uh, to put myself to some risk. And it's worked because three days ago our social media metrics without… Uh, without WhatsApp is reading at 2.8 billion people have spoken about soil. But when I started, when I started in London, a lady journalist was interviewing me and uh, she said, Sadhguru, come on, why have you become like this? Can't you pick up something else? Soil is the most unromantic thing, who will support you? Who is going to talk about soil? D just don't do this, do something else. Talk about the sky, maybe heaven. <laughs> Not soil, who is going to be interested in this? Look at this.